so we are doing admission of partner day 6 but when you come over here to this day 6 you should have seen what is merger okay so i'll be asking you questions about it what do you understand by admission of partner when you are adding a new partner to already like a to old and established business established business means what like a partnership that is already there and another partner is being admitted into it okay so when a uh, partner is admitted the most important thing we want from him is what the capital okay capital of by the new partner what could be the entry for capital by new partner capital by new partner entry would be uh, capital credited and the partner debited or whatever the thing partners getting debited capital account is credited right ah uh, yeah the capital can be brought in cash or it can be brought in kind yeah like cash or this so if the capital is brought in cash you will debit cash and okay yeah yeah so uh, if for uh, its capital uh, partners account credited and non car whatever asset that the uh, partners bringing debited okay so these are the things basically at the end of the session you should know all this perfectly what about revaluation of assets and liabilities revaluation of assets and liability is when you are revaluing your assets when because it's like when you are getting a new partner into the business you need to revalue it why like why matlab to because there is a change in structure oh yeah because there is a change in structure so when you revalue your assets what are the possible things that happen um like if there is an increase in assets it's going to be a gain that only na have to say yeah tell if there is an increase in assets it's a gain okay if there is a uh, decrease in assets it's a loss if there is a uh, increase in liability it's a loss if there is a decrease in liability it's a gain so uh, if there is a revaluation loss it comes it goes on the credit side of the revaluation account which goes on the debit side of the uh, partners capital account and if there is a a profit and revaluation will go on the debit side of the revaluation account and credit side of the partners capital account what do you know about goodwill adjustments a uh, goodwill adjustment i know that a uh, goodwill is uh, written off goodwill is raised with a uh, new uh, sharing ratio than written off with old think ulta i said goodwill is raised in oppo goodwill is raised in oppo oppo is old partners old ratio oh yeah sorry goodwill is raised in old partners old ratio and written off in new partners new ratio all partners new ratio yeah so raised on which side raised will be on the credit side and written off on debit okay fine why do you admit a new partner reasons for admission to get more capital to get more ideas into the business if one partner is like retired or passed away or something like that aise to fill that partner's absence and all okay so these are the reasons why you admit a new partner so whenever you have a sum of admission four things you definitely have to do i'm repeating whenever you have a sum of admission four things you definitely have to do first you need to know the new profit sharing ratio can you tell me where does the new profit sharing ratio help you uh the new to uh, uh, put the good to write off the goodwill to write off the goodwill on which side on the uh, uh, debit side okay the second thing that you need to consider when you are doing partnership is that the new partner will always get capital okay third thing you have to do is you have to revalue the assets and liabilities of the partnership and the profit or loss on revaluation would go to part old partners old ratio and fourth thing 
that you need to do is goodwill adjustment. That means you have to raise the goodwill and write off the goodwill. Hmm. So whenever you have something of partnership, four things should definitely be there. What are those four things? Uh, so for it's the profit sharing ratio, new yeah. partners capital, revaluation of assets and liabilities, and goodwill adjustment. So whenever you are doing admission of partners, four thing definitely has to be there in the sum. Okay. What is it? Change in profit sharing ratio, capital introduced, revaluation of assets and liabilities and goodwill adjustment. Okay, fine. No problem. Let's talk. Change in profit sharing ratio will normally be given to you. That is the new profit sharing ratio will be given to you. Now, if you have capital introduced, what would be the journal entry? Capital introduced um... by the new partner. Oh, by the new partner. Uh, it will be uh, other assets debited and a new partner's capital credited. So the capital can be in cash or it can be in kind. Yeah. If it is in cash, so I will debit cash bank account. Hmm. If it is in kind, I will debit the asset that he is getting. Yeah. And I will credit it where? In the partner's capital account. So if I have a partner's capital account, the first two columns will be of old partners A and B. And C hmm. is my new partner. What will be the first line for? Balance brought down. Balance brought down will be for whom? A, B. That is the old partner's capital balance. Then yeah. you will bring in the new partner's capital. It could be that cash be or it could be kind. If yeah. it's cash, you will write cash bank. If it is kind, you will write the name of the asset. And this is the new partner's capital. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah, got it. Then second thing you will do, revaluation of assets and liabilities. So first thing, when do you have gain on revaluation? When will you have gain on revaluation? Gain on revaluation is when the assets are, uh, when the value of assets increase. And? A liability decreases. Okay, fine. So if I say there is an increase in the value of asset, what will be the journal entry? Uh, asset debit, realization account credit. Realization or revaluation? Re revaluation, sorry. So asset account will be debited and revaluation will be credited. What is the other situation when you have gain on revaluation? A uh, decrease in liability. Mm -hmm. So same liability account debit, revaluation account credit. Liability decreases, so liability account debit, revaluation account credit. Okay. Loss on revaluation. So if there is any good thing happening, if there is any gain on revaluation, it will be on the credit side. Loss yeah. on revaluation. When do you have loss on revaluation? When the value when the value of assets decrease. And and uh, increase in value of liabilities. What is the journal entry for decrease in the value of assets? Uh, revaluation account debit, asset account credit. And uh, what is the other situation for loss on revaluation? Uh, increase in value of liability. In this will be revaluation account debit, liability account, liability account, not how, liability account. So if I'm making a revaluation of assets and liabilities, which account I will make? Revaluation account. account the revaluation account. The credit side of revaluation account will have all the uh, gains. And the debit side of revaluation account will have all the losses. Okay. Now we'll have all the losses. When do you have a gain? 
व्हेन देयर इन इंक्रीज इन एसेट का वैल्यू एंड एंड व्हेन देयर इज अ डिक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ लायबिलिटी व्हेन डू यू हैव अ लॉस व्हेन देयर इज अ डिक्रीज इन एसेट वैल्यू एंड इंक्रीज इन लायबिलिटी सो देयर इज एन इंक्रीज इन लायबिलिटी एंड डिक्रीज इन द एसेट्स ओके डिक्रीज इन एसेट्स इज अ बैड थिंग इंक्रीज इन एसेट इज अ गुड थिंग increase in liability is a bad thing decrease in liability is a good thing if your gain is more than your loss then what do you have if your gain is a, a profit where will it come this side debit side debit side what will you write profit on revaluation transfer to a and b in which ratio Uh, that old ratio. In old ratio, if you have loss on revaluation, when does that happen? When there's a loss. When will that happen? When what? Yeah, I'm not understanding. Loss will only happen now. When the debit is more than the. Yeah, if the debit is more than like that. Revaluation loss is transferred to. Revaluation A B. Partners capital in which ratio? In which yeah, ratio? Old old ratio. So this uh, revaluation profit will appear on which side? Revaluation will appear on the uh, credit side of the partners capital. And revaluation loss will appear on which side? Debit side of partners capital. So your partners capital account. The first thing that will be there is what balance brought down. What does this denote? Denote. Can you be quick? Can you be quicker? I'm not understanding. What What are you trying to ask? What does this mean? What does this balance begin down mean? The balance that was given in the trial balance from the capital this account. The capital that. balance. What does this mean? The asset that the new partner is bringing into the business. Capital introduced by the new partner. If you have revaluation profit, where will it appear? Profit will appear on this side, on the credit side. Distributed in which ratio? Old ratio. Revaluation loss. Uh, debit side. Distributed in which ratio? Old ratio. Old ratio. Okay, fine. Uh, what I want you to do is uh, one minute. So you you have this sum which is a worked example of Twanda and Jacob, and they want you to prepare capital account and current account. Can you tell me when do you prepare two separate accounts for capital? Under account. which capital method do you prepare two separate accounts for capital? Fluctuating. In fluctuating capital account method, you will have only one capital account. So, so under fixed. which method? Which capital method will you prepare two capital accounts? Fixed capital method. What is the meaning of fixed capital method? When I don't know when the capital is fixed. The meaning of the fixed capital method is that I do not want the capital account balances to change. Correct. Yeah. The meaning of fixed capital method is that you do not want the capital account balances to change. Now, mm. since you do not want the capital account balances to change, what will you do? You'll make the capital account. You will make two separate account. One account for capital and one account for doing all the adjustments. Are you with me? Yeah. So you make two separate accounts. One account for capital and this capital account balance will never change. And one account where you will do all your adjustments. I hope you are with me. Hmm. Okay. Fine. 
primes will go in which account current account current account interest on drawings current account which side interest on drawing and drawing both current account debit side okay salary uh, current account credit side interest on capital current account credit side share of residual profit current account credit side so when i have two separate account in the capital account only what will be there the balance the balance begin down and that will only be the balance closed down current account will have what 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 will the current account have what will the current account have they will have the balance begin down balance begin down then okay then it'll come drawings and interest on drawings okay and uh then salary yeah interest not salary uh Share then profit. no profit that is it okay yeah that's it close to so it. after doing this sum i actually want you to do this sum and prepare the capital and current accounts close the balance and bring down the balance i want you to do it okay ha so you will self evaluate yourself now and now other sum what are the two things they want you to prepare appropriation account and current account okay if there is a current account means which capital method are we following fluctuating fluctuating capital method what fluctuating capital method so last time when i said fixed capital method you said wrong so this time you are making two accounts one is capital account and one is current account if you are making two account capital account and current account that means you are following fixed capital method if you are following the fixed capital method that means capital will remain fixed all adjustments will happen where current account all the adjustments will happen in the current account mm -hmm. so come on tell me where will this go i tell you or you should i do it tell me then you will do it yourself i'll wait okay where will this go uh this will go current account this interest on capital uh this will go both na appropriation account mein also this comes and current account which side uh current account credit side this share of residual current account uh, credit side drawings current account debit side interest on drawings current account debit side so can you tell me in this sum uh, you are asked to make appropriation account and current account uh, so appropriation account starts with what profit for the year profit for the year do we have the profit for the year no so then the i have to find that that will be what the missing figure that will be the missing figure okay yeah. so i want you to do these sums right now i'm waiting for you. the balance and everything what do you mean by change in structure change in structure is when basically there is a, a admission to admission of a new partner a uh, retirement of a partner or death of a partner this is done when um, the business decides to change and new business comes to form okay so when there is a change in structure what happens or when the new partner is admitted so what will you do you will just change it now how do i say what i'll do make oh, yeah, revalue and goodwill okay fine so when there is a change in the structure in the middle of the year so that means in one full year you have two separate businesses operating huh okay till the time there is change in the structure the profit will be calculated separately and after the change in the structure the profit will be calculated separately 
ओके ओके कैन यू रीड दिस एग्जांपल व्हेन थुरो एंड बटिस्टा एडमिटेड कॉलर्स एज अ पार्टनर ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2014 देयर वर टू बिजनेसेस इन्वॉल्व फर्स्ट बिजनेस द वर द ओनर्स वर अ टूरो एंड बटिस्टा एंड द सेकंड बिजनेस वर अ टूरो बटिस्टा एंड कॉलर्स तो कैन यू टेल मी हु आर द ओल्ड पार्टनर्स अ टूरो एंड बटिस्टा एंड द न्यू पार्टनर्स ओनली कॉलर्स New partners will be Arturo, Batista, and Carlos. Oh, okay. So if it's happening on the last day, you don't have any issues. But if the change in structure happens in the middle of the year, at that time you will prepare your appropriation account also for two separate uh, years. Okay, two separate parts. Before the change in structure and after the change in structure. Are you with me? Hmm. Come on, read this. When Ian retired from the partnership of Ian, Jing, and Chris on thirtieth September, there were two businesses involved. Can you give me two businesses involved and up to what day? First will be Ian, uh, Jing, and Chris on thirtieth September. Then September, October, and then first October will be Jing and Chris. Okay, very good. Who are the old partners? Ian, Jing, and Chris. Who are the new partners? Jing and Chris. They will also be called the remaining partners. Hmm. Read like this. Yeah. Read. Okay. Read. Read. Which what are these names? Yeah. Dairy Dream. And. Engle Bert were in partnership, sharing profits and losses equally. When they changed their profit sharing ratio to three is to two on thirtieth June twenty fourteen, there were two businesses involved. Okay. Okay. So this okay. what will be this? Oh, okay, okay. First will be Dairy Dre and Engle Bert equally. Wala one business and then second will be the new ratio business. Okay, fine. Understood. Yeah. So whenever there is a change in the structure, and they give you a P and L appropriation or anything to prepare, two businesses involved. One is before the change in structure, and one is after the change in structure. Yeah. Four things you definitely have to have: new profit sharing ratio, introduction of capital, goodwill adjustment, and revaluation of. Assets and liabilities. Okay, so come on. Can you tell me what are the considerations on admission of a partner? Considerations of admission: a uh, change in profit sharing ratio, a uh, new capital introduced, revaluation, and goodwill adjustment. Okay, so I'm giving you one sum. This is a past paper question that is related to. uh i think it is related to admission of ad to the business you have some information that is available to you goodwill adjustment is there revaluation of assets and liabilities is there and you have to prepare partners capital account so so watching video will pause uh, the video try solving it and then go to the marking scheme So what are you going to do? You're going to prepare the partner's capital account for me. Okay, come on, start. 